So, yeah, you know how we call pigeons rats of the sky? Yeah, no, I, I made some real ones. Recently, I've been playing Minecraft more than I've been coding mods for Minecraft, which is the first time in like five years. So it was also the first time I experienced one of the biggest complaints of the Minecraft community. And that is the bad decisions of that same exact community. I mean the phantom. The f***ing phantom. And yeah, sure, sleeping would be easy enough as a solution. But like for any problem I got, I just like to patch her out over it. So yeah, as rats are clearly the superior being that deserves to rule over all, I delved deeper into insanity and I literally made flying rats. I personally like to call them light rats. And they are really glorious. They, they, as you can see, they are flying on their little rocket. And it's so amazing. They are such an amazing way of dealing with phantoms. And I, and I absolutely love it. So... Let's have a, a, a bit of a field trip together and, and see how overpowered they can actually be. So in order to get your hands on the all-powerful flying rat, you'll first need to craft an actual elite rat. So to do that, you'll need phantom membrane, a piece of leather, and a firework rocket, which will craft an elite rat. And if you have a tamed rat, uh, where is it? I had one. I swear I had... Uh, uh, there it is. There is my old bugger. You can either drop it uh, and... They will instantly pick it up and equip it, or you can come back and just equip them by shift right clicking on them. Now another way to do this is if you actually drop the elite rats and the rat doesn't have any, they'll instantly equip it. You can quickly kit your entire army so you don't have to go individually to each rat and shift right click. And if for some reason you just want to get rid of the elite rat on a rat, you can just head up to him and shift right click and he will just throw it back out and just be a normal rat again. So once your rats are properly kitted, um, it's pretty straightforward. Just go up to any mob and any mob you attack, they'll start, you know, gliding and propelling themselves off the ground. Uh, it works as well, as you can see, from uh, for ground mobs as well as uh, flying mobs. Although, naturally, on flying mobs, they'll work way better. As you can see, that phantom is getting shredded by just three rats. So yeah, they are absolutely amazing. However, attacking a mob is not the only scenario in which they'll fly. They'll also fly if you have an elytra equipped and, well, you use it. Look at that, look at that, they're just following me. So yeah, you can have your own private little air force and they'll follow you around, ready to defend you whenever you need it. And of course, as like everything I do, there is a little attention put into detail. So the elytra textures will change depending on some of the rat names and stuff. For instance, rat kids will all have uh, elytra textures after their capes. Or like one of the new variants of named rats added, uh, Holo Rat, will have the monarch wings. And my favorite out of the bunch uh, probably being Jorata with purplish star platinum wings as well as a uh, purplish star platinum rocket when he propels himself. So. Yeah, that is just the tiny details that sells it for me. Now, I know you're already sold on the elytrats and completely in love with them. Don't worry, it's absolutely natural. I completely understand you. But before we actually start bringing chaos into this world and make our elytrats completely overpowered, there is a few elements I need to show you first. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. The first of these two things is the Mask of Rat. This powerful artifact is gonna help you make your rats just a little more powerful. I, I, I should... I probably shouldn't have done it, but I did it anyways. Anyway, the way you obtain it is uh, as an attempt to make wandering traders a bit more interesting and useful. They will sometimes, if I can get one, uh, sell the Mask of Rat. Another way to obtain this Mask of Rat is, naturally, since it's not the rat mask, but actually the Mask of Rat myself, it will be dropped every time somebody kills me on a multiplayer server but uh please don't don't that's it's no real reason to uh bully me that that wouldn't be very nice now would it just so so please don't please don't anyway please the mask of rat will go in your helmet slot and will have some interesting properties once you start equipping it the first of them being you won't be able to ever again damage any rat may they be yours or just wild rats you can't actually damage them by conventional means and weapons so that is just that little bonus that will allow you not to damage your rats anymore with your sweeping edge 3 sword. Because that happened just too many times to me. Very quickly you'll realize it has the protection value of a leather helmet. However, it has the enchantability of gold and that is for a very specific reason. When you equip a mask of rat, all the rats that you'll have under your control will 
have that same mask. So it will provide them a bit of protection, but the real interesting part is, as I said, with the enchantments. So if I put this mask rat on, now don't blame me for this. This is purely for science, but it has fire protection four, as you can see here. Again, as I said, this is for science. I'm sorry, little one. Uh, Any time now, and you'll see it acts like fire protection, just removing fire earlier. So yeah, any enchantment you have present on that mask will be applied to all your rats, basically. The third and final use of the Mask of Rat is that it will transfer all status effects to your rats. But be careful, as that also includes negative status effects. So for instance, if I go and drink this Total Master Potion, my rats should get resistance, but should also be slowed down. As you can see, they will struggle a bit to come towards me. And if I drink this Potion of Invisibility, they all start turning invisible. So yeah, the Mask of Rat is definitely a powerful but uh, hard to obtain artifact as it's not that frequent that a Wandering Trader sells you one. So always check Wandering Traders, they'll be your friends. Or, or as I said, just kill me, although that, again, that wouldn't be very nice. Oh, and one thing I completely forgot to mention, if you damage your Mask of Rat, don't worry, you can always repair it with Phantom Membranes. Why Phantom Membranes? Don't ask me why, I have no idea, but I thought it could. Now, the second thing I wanted to show you before we get back to the light trance is a bit of a rework with a collection staff. Rats will now be able to mine blocks, even if they require a tool. However, depending on the hardness of the block you want to break, they will require either strength 1 or strength 2. So, as you can see, they still are struggling to... They literally can't get the stone blocks. However, if I have a mask of rat, uh, you could just splash them individually, but I'm just gonna use a mask of rat and drink a potion of strength, meaning they will all get strength. They can now start breaking stone. However, you can realize that it is really, really slow. And to fix that, rats are also affected by haste now, and that will naturally affect their mining speed. So if I were to give myself haste five and try again uh, with the stone block again, You'll see they start mining pretty fast, actually, for stone. So that is pretty nice. But hold on. What if I disable the tile drops and I give myself haste 255? Let, let's try this. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so yeah, you can now absolutely cause chaos and utter destruction. Oh god, this one went deep. <laughs> oh Jesus. Wow. So yeah, these little world eaters, oh Jesus Christ, they just keep digging holes, what the hell? <laughs> Hold on, let me see this, I gotta, th I, I gotta see this, this is, look at this! They literally are little worms! This is so amazing! I mean, it's not like you're gonna get haste 255 in survival, but I guess it can be a fun creative tool? Uh, if, if you wanna like, let the rats design your map making, I guess? So yeah, that is a fun little thing you can do with the rats now. Anyway, so let's finally get back to the elytras. I've got 58 elytras in these rat pouches, as well as oh, as well as a mask of rats. And as you can see, I've got resistance six. Uh, I intended to put resistance five, but that way the rats won't be able to get hurt. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's unleash hell and see how they fare. Oh my god! So yeah, they are. Uh... <laughs> oh my god! This is amazing. Hold on. Hold on. If I... Oh yeah. Okay. They... Are they gonna? Yeah, they're gonna. No. <laughs> That is very nice. So actually, now I want to try it against the phantoms uh, and see. Oh wow, that was that was that was wow. Yeah. So yeah, they they will be like even better than cats <laughs> against phantoms. They just they just obliterate them. There's just no way a phantom could ever hurt you again. Uh, now I actually want to try it on a wither. Let's see how it works. I'm actually curious. i yeah. This is why I gave them resistance so they don't die against the wither. All right. Now he's fucked. Oh, Jesus. Wow! Okay, wow. Oh, the Air Force. Oh, it's real. Oh, the fight is on. Oh, we can't even see them. Okay, he's still here. He's still really far away. <laughs> still struggling against some. Uh, uh, and we, we can't even see him anymore. Okay, so I've disabled Mob Griffin and made this little arena so it's a little bit cramped in here and the Wither has no place to escape. So this should work and we should probably be able to take him down fairly easily as he has no plan of escape. Okay, let's go. Yeah, okay, this is the end. Jesus. Well. And he's bringing the prize that is rightfully mine.
Would you look at that? Let's try against four withers. Let's see. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, look at the health bar. Oh, God, it's dropping. <laughs> look at that. They're actually attacking two withers now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now, I don't know why they are dying, because they're supposed to have resistance five. But they successfully managed to take four withers down. And they're still flying around. Nice. All right, so I think I've pretty much proven that rats, even if they were before, are still now even more so the ultimate being you can probably get and the best companion you can travel with or fight with or help you for your task. However, before you leave, there's still a few things I'd like to show you. There are actually, with this update, four more named variants of rats, and I'm just gonna list them right now. So me and Arathane decided to add four new ones. Uh, the first one is Biggie Cheese. The second one is Rataline, imitating Madeline from Celeste. The third one is Hollow Rat from, well, Hollow Knight. And the last one I made for Arathane because he made all those previous one and he helped me so much with the mod once more. Basically Arathane. Finally, if you're watching this video on the day it's released, which means it's the 4th of April, that is World Rat Day, in case you didn't know. And for that special day, you should look out for two things. The first thing is that on World Rat Day every year, the spawn chances of the Golden Rat are increased from 1 out of 150 to 1 out of 30. And as you probably saw already, all rats, no exceptions, not just the rat kids, will joyfully smug dance on this special day. So yeah, I sincerely hope you enjoyed this update as much as I enjoyed working on it. And if you do, please consider leaving a like and subscribing as I spend a lot of time working on these mods and videos and it would truly mean the world to me if you subscribed. Plus, you can always change your mind later. Just one tiny final thing, I'd like to thank everyone who supported me as the launch for Mischief and the mod in general, the reception was amazing, so thank you all, you're amazing. And yeah, I'll see you around in the next one, uh, I hope you have an amazing World Ride Day.